dramas, comedies, musicals. For 38 years, theater audiences at Virginia Highlands Community College have enjoyed live performances that have included everything from Dames at Sea, starring Richard Lee, to a recent production of one-act plays from Tennessee Williams. And each semester, regardless of the selected script or the actors who turned out to audition, William Van Kieser and Gary Day have worked diligently behind the scenes to ensure that every line was memorized, every costume fit properly, every set enhanced the theater experience, and every performance was truly memorable. A native of Clifton Forge, Virginia, William Van Kieser was born to perform. By the time he entered elementary school, he was already an accomplished tap dancer who had appeared in talent shows throughout the state. The highlight of his young career came in 1953 when nine-year-old Van won a talent contest sponsored by the VFW of Clifton Forge, earning him the chance to perform on Roanoke's WSLS television. The very first thing I ever saw on a television set was Van. And he had his little stair steps. He wore his little sailor, satin sailor suit and he would tap dance and then he would tap dance up the stairs and he would jump off and land in a split. Following his graduation from high school, Van earned degrees from Emory and Henry College and Richmond Professional Institute. He quickly landed a job in Clifton Forge, leading the theater program at Dabney S. Lancaster Community College. Meanwhile, Gary Day was growing up on his family's farm in Waxahachie, Texas. He enrolled in Arkansas's Harding College after high school and then continued his education at Abilene Christian College, where he began directing plays as part of his master's program. His first teaching position came in 1968 when he joined the theater department of Suffolk County Community College in New York. By 1969, work was underway to establish a community college in Abingdon. Early administrators recognized a golden opportunity to partner with the renowned Barter Theater and soon had gained the support of Robert Porterfield. Van Kieser was the natural choice to lead VHCC's new theater program and he officially joined the faculty at VHCC in September 1970. One of the things that I was fortunate to do in the early days when I was working with Van is to, to meet with Van and Robert Porterfield while he was still um, you know, managing the theater, and that was most interesting. In the early days, we had very well-established relationships with the Barter Theater that, you know, that exist to this day. A series of one-act plays entitled Searching was chosen as the first VHCC production, and Van invited the entire community to audition. And one day we were walking down the hall, a group of us, and there were uh, these little signs outside on the door. I think it was a lecture hall. And it said, uh, please come for auditions, three one-act plays. Um, and uh, I remember I had a William Van Kieser, uh, and I was not in theater arts, had never been in a play, uh, but we all st stood there in the hall and said, you know, this might be something that we ought to try. So needless to say, I went and I auditioned and um, met William Van Kieser for the first time, and uh, he was uh, someone that was, uh, uh, to me, just made you feel at ease and at the same time uh, made you laugh and um, just in an audition. And uh, there are all these different emotions that he brought out. And I said, this is what theater is all about. Gary joined the VHCC faculty two years later after meeting Van at a summer workshop at Northwestern University. He brought a new set of talents to the VHCC program. They needed to have somebody who would balance Van's abilities. Van's abilities were in dance and musical theater and acting. And Gary was a person who was really gifted and trained in stagecraft and voice and diction. Gary, of course, was able to work with nothing almost to get those fabulous sets he's always been able to do. And when I go into room 220 now, 
and look at the space that they had to work in and produce some of the things like Superstar and um, Jacques Brel and some of those huge plays that they were able to put on in Room 220 in the ISC building. It's just amazing to me. From the very beginning, Van and Gary worked closely together to create a theater program to enrich the lives of their students. They also have taught courses in speech and English and became valued members of the VHCC family. Of course, I had known Gary as just a colleague, but at that point he became assistant to the dean and he worked with me and observed faculty, helped me identify adjunct faculty, and that's when I really got to know him. He has just a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, he also has um, great knowledge. I, I've always teased Van that he was my one of my great failures in life because I tried very hard to get him on a budget and, and I was not very successful. He would uh, tell me that he was going to follow a budget and then he would go to New York on the governor's school trip in the summer and come back and share with me his $50 socks that he had bought. Perhaps one of the greatest successes of the VHCC theater program is that it has given the entire community a reason to visit campus and an opportunity to participate, either on stage or from the audience. Many, many people over the, the past 20 years that I've been involved in the theater from the community that would have never had an opportunity like this or perhaps didn't do theater in high school and always had a dream to do so were encouraged and welcome to come and, and many of them did. Van and Gary have have had such a wonderful program. They have produced plays of very fine playwrights, serious drama, funny stuff, just the whole gamut. All genres, we love to say, you know. Um, and they've done it so beautifully and with such good spirit. Van Kieser retired from VHCC in 2007 after 37 years as a teacher, an advisor, a mentor, and a friend to hundreds throughout our community. And in 1970, when I was a young kid, um, I needed some guidance, and, uh, and he gave that to me, and I appreciate it. Gary Day continues to lead the theater program with help from adjunct instructors, talented students, and community volunteers. To recognize the remarkable accomplishment of these two gentlemen, the College Foundation has embarked on an effort to establish the Kieser Ade Theater at VHCC. It is a small tribute to the giant legacy of these two old friends whose love for the performing arts has touched the lives of so many on our campus and throughout the community. All contributions will be invested in an endowment to provide student scholarships, to supplement special arts events, and to create a regional art collection on campus. I do hope and earnestly pray that this, this uh, effort to raise this money and have this building named for them. I wish I'd thought of it. It's just absolutely unnatural. And all you have to do, I think, is walk through the lobby of 605 to see all of the pictures that are displayed there of the former theater productions that we've had here on the, on the Virginia Highlands campus, just to see the impact that they've had on the institution and on their students. The community, I'm, I'm sure, uh, has been touched by William Van Keyser and Gary Day through all the years that they were here and all the people that they've been in, the lives that they've touched and the dedication that they've shown and just to stay in this one community uh, at this one college, um, it's, uh, there, there could be not a, a better tribute to two, two individuals. The community loves Van and Gary, and I think it, they're just going to be very much um, for this, this worthy project. Mm -hmm.